Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this nice looking mini PC stick. It's done by a company called Azultech and it is modeled Access 4. This bad boy is running the Gemini Lake processor, which is a Celeron processor. It has 4 GB of RAM and this comes in two different versions of internal storage. One is 64 gigabyte of internal storage which I have received and the other one is 128 gigabyte of space. I have to mention that this will process on 4k 60 hertz per second. It runs Windows 10 Pro. I do not want to forget if you haven't subscribed to our channel click the click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon and select all in order for you to get notified once we have a new video out. If you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. On top of that, click the click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos in a little more detail every time. Alright, you can see that the box is really nicely designed. It has their actual logo in the front and also the Access 4 little emblem in the front. And I want to mention that the actual stick picture is there too. And that is not the actual size. Once you flip it in the back, you have more information that we're going to cover in this video and more little designs around it. I have to mention that the packaging on this is flawless. All right, so let's just get everything out of this. I slowly can see that we are opening it and going through. You can see all of the components that are part of this. All right, so it comes with this little box and once we open it, you will find some of the components inside of it, which is going to be the extension for the HDMI. And it also comes with this power adapter. Now this is five volt, three amps, and make sure that you don't put anything less than that. And you can change the faceplate, but you gotta purchase the other ones for around the world. The one I received this made for Canada and United States. It just goes halfway in slide it in and that's it and this is the part that will connect to your actual box or dongle now with this you will also going to get a little quick guide now here is axis 4 you can see that it has really nice cuts to it and this is plastic but the way that they designed it it is not going to overheat now you can see there is a little hole right here going to be the LED light but you can see the way that they designed it is really cool. You see that it goes nice and smooth and it goes up a little bit and when you go to the back it's designed so that way you can connect your LAN connection. You do have a headset jack and also you have a little lock so that way when you're not using it you can totally lock it just like your laptop. Now going on one side of it you will see that there is a little antenna which only goes up and this is about 180 degrees and you cannot bring it down. Don't bring it down, you can break it. If you look right here, you have an SD card slot which can read up to 256 gigabyte. Then you have a USB 3.0 connection. You do have the power connection so you can power it up. There's gonna be a little sticker for a serial number. Then you have a little power button so that way you can turn it on and you can see that how nice it is. Now go in here, you can see the USB 3.0 and the printing right underneath of it is really nice too. So they have taken care of how it is going to be created. And when you go to the front part, you have the HDMI 2.1 connection, which is again, it's really cool. Going on the other side of it, you have some stickers and then you have the, you have the USB type C connection, which you can not only connect your accessories to it, but you can also go in to be able to connect this to two monitors. Going on the bottom part of it, you have the same type of cuts. It really going to help out with the actual breeding of the CPU in this. So we will test it. Then we're going to also show you exactly how much it will heat up if it heats up. Now you can connect this at the back of your monitor or if you want, you can use the extension wire that is part of it, this thing. You can use this so you can connect it at the back of your monitor and it will hang down a little bit. Then you can use your Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to be connected to this, or you can use the USB 3 and you can use a little hub in order to connect it. So we will walk you through step by step and we will show you exactly how this will connect on the computer. And then we're going to do some benchmarking with this.
To connect this, make sure your HDMI is connected at the back of your monitor first, and then connect the power. Now in this case, I am using an extension, and you can see everything is connected. Once that's done too, you have to hold the power for about three seconds in order for it to power up. Then you should see the LED light going from red to blue. And now you will be able to see it on the screen that it is just booting up and you will see the Azul logo and it is very, very fast to go in. All right, so as soon as it comes up, you have to log into it. And once the login has gone through, which I already processed, this is what you will see. It's a beautiful picture. Again, I've changed the settings. This is Windows 10 Pro Edition. So let me just show you that first. So I will be blocking a few things there, but you can see that this is running Windows 10 Pro. Version that is running already on this is the 2004 edition, which is really up to date. You can see that the screen is set up right now on 1080p. You can go to your display settings in order to check that out. And there you go. You can see that this is set up on 1080p. This is running on HD color. So once you hook this up and you start going through some multimedia videos, in playing a 4K video, you will see that the unit itself will heat up a little bit. Now that's normal because it's a dongle. So it doesn't have a huge heat sink on it, but it's not going to overheat in a point that it will reboot or shut down or die. It is done that part properly. Remember that this is pro and this is made really positioned in my mind for students. So once you get it, as soon as you click on it, you will get this little pop up on your settings and then the apps part of it or office right there. So you can create a free account through the Microsoft or if you have your Hotmail account or Outlook, you just have to sign in and you will be able to get the free version of Word, Excel and PowerPoint. And also they will give you five gigabyte of their space, storage space online. So that way you can save your documents. And when you are on a different location, you do not have to take the stick and hook it up. And if you are in front of a computer, you just have to log in to the OneDrive and then you will be able to get access to it easily. And the second thing is that we are already installed some benchmark software on this. The first one I want to mention is the Geekbench. Now they have two things that you can run. One is the actual compute benchmark. And then the second one is the CPU benchmark. So let me just capture that right now. So what we did is the first thing was the actual CPU benchmark. You can see for single core, I received 429 and for the multi core, I received 1254 for this type of chipset that is running inside of it. In this case, this is Intel Celeron J4125 or another case, it is called Gemini Lake which is very powerful when it comes to the actual Celeron system family. It is really good. I have to mention that you cannot do any Adobe Photoshop or any kind of video editing on this because of the size, also the memory and how it has been put all together, but you can do your daily work. Doesn't matter if it's Word, Excel or PowerPoint, you will be able to just do that job accurately. If you want to view and you want to go online, you want to go through some websites or YouTube, I'm going to cover that in a few seconds. But yes, you can process that. One more thing I want to bring into this is that when we went to an actual compute benchmark, this is what we got is 1315. It is really high, which I really like. I know that they can tweak a little things here and there too to make this even go higher. But I wouldn't suggest because then your stick will start getting a little bit of heat. We try to overclock it, but then we start seeing a heat. So we just brought it back to normal. That's why Azul brought it up to this numbers in order for it not to get really heated. Again, you can see everything is there that what they have done and how everything is running perfectly on this. So this was Geekbench. Now we're going to go to another app, which is called CPU Z. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Let me just bring it right here. You can see that this is running the Intel Celeron J4125 and the code name is Gemini Lake. It is 10 watt and going down the sock number is there too. So that way it gives you a lot of information about the CPU itself. It is maximum setup on this is two gigahertz, which is really powerful. The clock speed is there too. The clock cores are there, the which ones are sleeping, which ones are running. That is pretty cool. 
and you can see that it is four by four and threaded even four times two if you go to cache there's not much information but when you go to actual motherboard then named it azul perfectly and then when you go to BIOS, it is America Megatrend. This is something that has been set up since I know computers. And then going next is the memory itself. It is DDR4, 4 gigabyte. It is set up on 1064 is a maximum. And you can see everything is there too. So there's no other latency or delay. And going down under the graphics card. This is where everybody's asking that make sure you capture it. It is Intel UHD graphics 600 that means is you can have this running on 4k monitors without any kind of delay if you're running it on 1080p i am sure you're not going to see any type of heat it will go warm just like regular computers but with the heat sink and everything you're not going to see any kind of heat generated on the actual dongle itself so you can connect to the back of your monitor it will work perfectly the next thing I want to bring up is going to be the Netflix and yes, Netflix will work and yes, you will get your maximum resolution that you need, whatever Netflix brings up because of Intel Pentium, they are the best for this. Another part is that right now I could not log in, but you can see that you can go to their website and log in. Same thing with Disney Plus and also with Prime Video. Now going into YouTube itself, you can go to it and perfectly it will bring up and you can be able to view your videos on this and you're not going to have any kind of issue going through it. Uh, we will just select this one and we will make it maximum screen so you can see how smooth it plays it right now. But once you go here and you want to select the 4K, we will give it a couple of seconds because it has to go and get the picture directly from the internet itself. And there you go. So you can see that it is on 4K and there's no stop to it. It's very smooth the way that you really want it. All right. The other part that I really like to capture on this is going to be connection and also speed test. I know that a lot of us have 5G network, 2.4G network, and also mesh network, which will be running both of them and the actual router would decide. If your box, or in this case, your computer needs 5G network or 2.4. So let's go through and test that first. As you can see right now, I am connected via my main router, which is running it on the mesh network. So here you go, just clicking on it to see what type of speed I am getting out of this. Now remember that, that there are a lot of connections around and you can see that it is exceeding over 100 megabit. So that means is my mesh network connecting me right now as a 5G network, which is perfect. Now that's not it. We, this is the download. Now my upload rate is maximum 32 megabits per second and I am exceeding that. You can see that it goes a little bit above that. So that means is it's doing its job perfectly on that case too. Now I'm just waiting for that to be done. And there you go. Now this is just one test. Now I will close this and I will go one more time. Again, this is the same network. I'm just doing it one more time to see what type of numbers I receive. Did you see that it dropped a little bit? So it's not over a hundred anymore and it is going downhill a little bit. So that means is network, what time it is, and where you are, everything matters. You can see that right now my upload rate also now it exceeded and it went above the 32 megabits, which is a really good number. So that means is there is a rush on the network right now, which is morning time. So just like rush hour for the cars, same thing goes for this. So this was one part when you're using it on the internet as a mesh network. Now I'm going to change it to our landline. Now, as soon as you connect the LAN, you will get this type of pop-up and you have to say yes. Now, if you look in the bottom, the Wi-Fi went away and I went to my regular LAN connection. Now, if I have to click on the check again for the speed, let's see how fast it will go through. And now you can see that this is a gigabit LAN. So you can see my numbers went up way higher than I was expecting. Again, it is a rush hour, so I was supposed to get a little bit more speed there you go but it didn't but here you go this is my upload speed so this should be really clear for me on what type of numbers i'm going to get 
So it does the internet job accurately for me. Doesn't matter if it's Wi-Fi or it is the LAN connection, which I have right now. If I have to run it one more time, here is the numbers again. So now it came down a little bit. This is the second test that I'm doing. But again, you can see that it is running it perfectly for me. There you go. And this is the upload rate. Now it is, as I said, as it should be 32 megabit maximum. And you can see that I just reached it and it's now going above that, which is really good. But once you have it hooked up at the back of your monitor, I am sure you're not going to notice that whatsoever. And as long as you have a wireless keyboard and mouse, you're going to really love this. And if you even wanted to make it just like your monitor is the whole thing, this is it. You can either use a Velcro on the back of your monitor if you don't have an actual perfect connector and it's going to stick from the side. There is a little extension wire that came with this that you can use and that way you will be able to connect it at the back of your monitor and it will work accurately for you. The price is very reasonable and this is a schooling time that everybody is in pandemic and you really need to have a computer just for your work and you're not going to use your actual personal laptop or computer to work for your work itself or you want to have you have a online business this will do the job for you perfectly so i really position it for actual schooling but i really like it that even it's going to work for your actual work purposes that you're going to do in a different monitor this will be done doing the job accurately for you if you want to connect this to your big monitor and use it as an actual entertainment system this will work perfectly too. It does not matter what app you're going to use for your media player. This will do the job for you again. Even on 4K and 60 Hertz, this will bring the picture for you accurately. Except that I will be placing a link where you can order it from and some information from official website. All links going to be available in the bottom of this video. I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment and the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xitex.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram and other social networking places. And thank you.